Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm sorry for like no news today. Um, part of the reason is that one, I did kind of start late, but also when I've been searching for the past, you know, I don't know, for like an hour, there hasn't been really anything that's been like really too crazy in terms of news that I really want to go over at all. I haven't really checked X slash Twitter, and I haven't really found anything of like of pretty much use of like any actual information. So, uh, what we have here, though, is quite a bit interesting, at least what's going on here. What we have here is from Lips of Tech Talk, and of course, you know, uh, Viscard, I may believe, also mentioned this before, or today, um, saying, Drone footage captured at Emory College shows students being, tar tra being trained and practicing for violent protests with the police. Biden's top donors, including Soros, are the ones behind this protest movement and on college campuses. This is well organized and funded, and this is what I pretty much said beforehand with the uh, with the whole situation with uh, um, with the George Soros and all that stuff that was, that was funding these guys. This is kind of what's going on. Now I'll show you the actual clip here, and also I apologize if you hear the wind in the background, but I'm telling you guys, if I do not keep my door or my window open, I will be cooked alive. So I apologize. So here we go. So for people who are wondering what's going on, it's showing, or that are just listening, it's showing um, kids doing this, like, this very organized and typical thing when it deals with, when it comes to college kids and stuff like that. This is what's going on here. Um, so it's showing what, what they can do against the police and stuff like that and all this train stuff. This is insane. So, again, I haven't really ever seen kids go and do this type of stuff at all. And, um, this is what I have to say with George Soros. This guy needs to be arrested. Because if he is actually putting money to put in behind these protests, and they're doing, like, they're doing this type of level of stuff, this is insane. This, this needs to stop. Like, I, I don't know about you, but the insanity just needs to go away. I, I don't, I don't, I, I, it's, it's quite insane that we have, uh, Colleges, uh, Democrats, and George Soros uh, funding these things, kids being trained for this type of stuff, because this this is stupid. Like, I don't know exactly where you could label this under the law. I would like to have a lawyer on here, or a lawyer even in the, down in the comment section, to kind of explain what's going on, and what, what, how could this be against the law. Because I, I don't think you can actually do this, right? Like, this is, I think this would be, like, close to, like, insightful of something, I, I, I'm, I'm assuming. But don't quote me on that. But this seems to be quite terrible. Um, and this is what's going on in these these colleges. These kids are taking these training courses or practicing or what have you. They're not actually getting education. As I said, they're being indoctrinated in these schools. And that's the problem. Like, what they should be doing is that they should be doing uh, math, uh, working towards their degrees and stuff like that instead of doing this type of stuff. Instead, they're being indoctrinated, they're being trained on how to do protests and stuff like that, and that type of thing needs to end. Like, it just, it, it has to stop. So, this is what we have to deal with here, um, kind of what the protesters are doing, uh, George Soros and Democrats alike. So, take it as you will. And what we have here as well, from the, the whole context of this situation here, it says, In a surprising turn of events, Emory University students were recently caught on drone footage training for protests, sparking a lively debate across social media platforms. The footage captured by a journalist reveals students practicing a riot tactics ahead of expected clashes with police. Critics argue that the training is funded and organized by Biden's top donors, while others see it as a form of pro peaceful protest. The incident has raised questions about the university's role in allowing such activities in the motivations behind the training. As tensions surrounded by the israel Palestine conflict continue to rise, the controversy of Emory uh, University serves as a microcosm of the broader debate on the role of universities in political activism. With a touch of humor, one might say that these students are taking higher education to a whole new level. Uh, yeah, and I don't think these kids are at all, by any stretch of the imagine, um... Uh, actually getting a natural good education. I think these kids' education is being hampered. I think these kids' education is um, in threat. They're paying a huge amount of money to do this type of stuff, and this is just the deal here. 
Um, I don't know about you guys, but this type of insanity needs to stop. Uh, and I don't think that we should really be supporting these type of things, right? Like, uh, uh, in a sense, they shouldn't be training to do, to do, uh, protests such as this. You go on protests and you address your opinions. These people are actually being funded and, and, and doing this type of stuff. Like, that's insane to me, alright? This is insane. So, yeah. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Like I said, share. As always, take care, my friends. I'm disgusted by what I see in public. Even people closest to us can't be trusted. This is algorithmic disease, the social media.